Hey guys, I'm back and I'm back with another Zara haul. However, this Zara haul is different because it's a Zara sale haul. So I have two very, very big boxes. I'm so sorry that this didn't go live on like Boxing Day, but Zara takes so long to send stuff in the post. So it literally took a week for this parcel to arrive. Hence why this is a little bit late. But anyway, I know you guys love Zara hauls. If you follow me on Instagram at mshellx, if not, come say hi, I'd love to have you. You will know that I always kind of like try on new clothes on Insta stories. However, this is a first time viewing for you guys with this one because I haven't shown anyone these clothes. In fact, I've not even got them out of the box yet. So, if you watch my hauls, you will know kind of how the format works. I placed a big order, I ordered them, the box arrived and I have not even taken them out of the box yet. The first time we're all going to see these clothes, touch them, feel them, talk about them is on this video. Um, and then I'm going to try them on and I'm going to tell you how I feel about them. So, let's go. So first things first, I got this teddy bear jacket, shock horror, if you do have me on Instagram you'll be like, um, stop with the teddy bear jackets, you have too many. I know, I know, but I don't have one with a hood in my defence. So what I would say about this from my initial kind of viewing is that it is very, very thin. It's definitely more of like a spring jacket. I mean, maybe looks will be deceiving and it will be very warm if it's got the hood. It feels super soft, but it is very, very thin. I mean, I'm going to link some teddy bear jackets below that are better quality um, because that's one thing I would say about Zara, the stuff looks good, but from my opinion, unless you get the really premium uh, price pointed things, they're not the highest of quality, I'm going to be honest with you guys with that. Um, but this was super affordable in the sale, I think it was reduced from 70 to about 30 So I'm going to just try it on, go straight into it and then let's see how I feel about it. So here it is on. So this is size extra small and it's obviously quite oversized. I know that last time on my Zara haul a lot of people were commenting telling me that I'd ordered the wrong sizes but I do always get an extra small or a small in Zara but usually extra small. So this is XS. Um, it's nice. But because I've ordered so many teddy bear coats after ordering this one, which are much nicer, I personally probably won't be keeping this one. It's cute because it's got like the little hood. Like it is very, very cute, but I just don't think it's necessary. It does just kind of feel like, I am actually really warm in it and it's very soft, but I do think it feels like a kind of overpriced cardigan, which is why I'm glad that I got it in the sale. But it is very warm and it is nice. I don't know how I feel about the colour. I feel like the colour might be a little bit drab. Maybe it would have been nicer if it was kind of more of a brown colour. Um, but I just think the only reason I'm butt off this, because usually I'm like, oh my god, teddy bear coats, is because I have ordered so many lovely teddy bear coats recently and I've been so impressed by them. Um, I think these sleeves actually are a bit short, weirdly, like it fits perfectly on the body and then the sleeves are a bit short. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you do want a teddy bear coat and you want a really cheap teddy bear coat, then the sales at the moment are pretty much at the end of the sales. I have a link that I'll leave below, which is like all of my kind of favourite sales at the moment, and they're all doing reductions up to like 70%, so this is probably really cheap now. Um, if you want to see down the sides, it has pockets, which is really nice. I do love a coat with pockets. I can throw my phone in. The pink detail, I think, is really nice, and it's actually one of my favourite parts about the coat. So if you are kind of wearing it open, I do think it adds just a really nice finish. Even though to touch, it does feel quite low quality and quite thin, I think it just looks really nice, particularly with the kind of silky pink. I've never actually seen a teddy bear coat with pink in before. Um, I just think it's really nice, so have a quick spin around so you guys can see it. But yeah, if you are a teddy bear coat lover and you just want something lightweight for spring, then yeah, it's a good shout. And as I said, it is very, very nice having a hood. So, now onto the big box, which by the way, you don't need a gym membership if you order Zara deliveries, because it is literally like I am doing weights. Who needs a gym membership? Ah, the sound of opening up a parcel, heaven. This is actually like a complete surprise to me because I just don't know what I ordered. Ooh, this is interesting. I remember ordering this and it looks really nice online. It could be horrendous when you see it on. So this was £80. There's no way I paid £80 for it, guys. I mean, I might order an obscene amount of clothes and spend a lot of money on clothes, but there is no way that I'd have paid £80 for this. So it was obviously very, very, very highly reduced. What I'll do is I'll go through my order list um, and I'll leave the links to everything below and similar items as well so that you guys can see how much stuff actually cost. But this is basically a fur top. How random, what was I thinking? Do you ever just order things and then be like, what was I thinking? Right, let's try it on and see if this is an epic disaster or actually it could be really nice. I mean, I'm unsure as to how I got this so wrong. Either the Zara website lies or my eyes lie because this actually looked quite nice on the website, otherwise I wouldn't have ordered it. But I feel like it's the least flattering thing I have ever seen. 
It's as if they just got a piece of material, like fake faux material, and just held it up and they were like, let's just throw it on someone. I don't know, again, you guys might be like, I oh, know it's nice, but from where I'm standing, it does not look very nice. I feel like I've got a cape on. I don't know, I just feel a bit like, it's just weird, I don't understand. No wonder it's in the sale. I mean, this year we had a lot of really good sale items. I think we need to remember why they do sales. Often they sell off things that didn't sell very well in the year, or they sell off things that just didn't really fit people. And I think that goes into that category. I just think people probably bought this and thought, what the heck am I doing? A bit like me now. I just honestly don't think it would have looked like this on the website. And um, it's obviously faux fur. I mean, let's talk about some positives. Love the colour, absolutely love the colour so soft i'm gonna keep so warm i don't know maybe i would say maybe it would look nice with the jacket on but there is no way let's try you just wouldn't ever be able to wear a jacket with this top because it, look how much it ruffles up at the back i don't want this to be a fail video um so i'm hoping the rest of the stuff looks really nice um but i'm always going to give you guys my complete honest opinion um so yeah i personally wouldn't buy this Next! Okay, the thing I am most excited about now, I do remember ordering this because I have wanted something like this forever. So my love for military style coats has been a very, very long love, but I've never been able to find the right one. So it's, this is kind of bomb on style, I guess, kind of, kind of a dupe. Um, I wanted one from Sandro years and years ago and I could never find the size that fitted me. And then a girl that I follow on Instagram, she was wearing one in Paris the other day and it was from Mango. And then I just happened to go on the Zara sale and find this, which is pretty much identical. I think it's like the smartest, there's no, not even any price on it. Um, oh no, here we go. Um, so this one full price was £80, um, but obviously it was in a sale. So I just think it's incredibly smart, super looks, very Paris, so I'm going to try it on. And I hope I love it as much as I loved it on the website, but we'll have to see. Let's go! So I ordered this in a size small, and I'm really glad I did. I thought because it's more of a fitted coat, I'd get it in a small just so that it fitted me kind of perfectly. I absolutely love this coat. It's exactly kind of what I wanted. I feel like it's very smart, very military. However, the girl that I saw wearing it, she did have it in black, and she was wearing it with like a matching skirt with gold buckles, and it looked absolutely incredible. Um, so I don't really wear much navy, so I would probably get more use out of it if it was black. Um, but it's so beautiful. One thing I would say about Zara is this kind of thing annoys me. I know that you can cut them off because I did talk about this on my last video. Um, but I just think these are kind of all over the whole of this jacket, really loose threads. Um, and a lot of Zara jackets that I have bought and I've paid a lot of money for, they've ripped like all along the seam because of threads like this. So that is one of my big worries about Zara and I have said that before, I just think you spend quite a lot of money and the quality isn't always the best, but it does look nice. So it's one of those things, do you want style or do you want substance? Is that the right word? In terms of how it looks, I'm really happy with it. I do think it is just really smart. I just really like it. So I'm obviously wearing something really thin under this. If I wore something thick under it, there is no way my boobs would get into it but it's definitely a really nice kind of jacket that you'd wear open I would never really close something like this anyway although the threads are really annoying me um, but I just think it's really smart I think it's very kind of easy to wear, very Parisian it's the kind of thing I'd probably wear out for dinner to the office, to a nice meeting um, I just think it's a really nice smart addition to the wardrobe and it is a real wardrobe staple it's one of those things that you could have for a very long time okay so next because it's still winter in the UK, I mean, we're, we're very, very cold right up until probably January, March, April time, I'd say. Um, I am still kind of in that winter zone because at the moment it is absolutely freezing. Leave a comment, guys, and let me know whereabouts you guys are from in the world. But where I am right now, it's cold. And I actually love winter fashion, so I'm totally happy for it to be cold for a bit longer so I can wear all of these coats that I keep buying. Okay, so I went for this. Again, quite military style but white. I do like white clothes. I am a sucker for wearing kind of like white things. So I'm going to try it on and hope that it looks as nice as it looked on the pictures. Let's go for it. So to some people this may look like a lab coat, but to me I do always tend to wear white things. I know I say like so many times by the way. I feel like we should play a drinking game and see you have to drink every single time I say like. You'd be very drunk by the end of it. Um, so in terms of this coat, I really like it. I think if it was paired with the right things it would look great, so that's why I'm kind of wearing it with all black. It would be great for day to day, date night, office, um, you can fasten it up. I'm not really a fan of the silver buttons, I say this on all hauls, I just don't really like silver buttons. 
I know a lot of you guys say that you want to see me actually styling stuff up outside of hauls, so I did a video over Christmas called the things I wore the most in the last year, and I think a lot of you guys actually find it helpful because I showed you how I styled stuff in my wardrobe, um, but you can always see that on Instagram too. So what I would say about this jacket, I have a lot of white clothes, this picks up a lot of dirt, literally just from wearing it now, there's like marks all over it. Um, from hair and stuff, so I think it is one of the, the kind of material where things cling to it but I think it's really nice, I think it fits nice, I think it's really smart again, all of this stuff was super affordable because I deliberately bought it in the sale um, and I just think it is really nice, I'm just not really a fan of this colour buttons but I think worn kind of open as well, it's also really nice I do love a jacket that you can wear open and closed buttons are quite hard to undo, okay so that's it, I'm done then we're on to knitwear because this is me and I can never ever ever resist a knit and I definitely can't resist a Zara knit. So this one was £39.99 full price so I think most of this stuff was half price but again I'll leave all of the actual prices below so you guys can find them. How gorgeous is this? I am such a sucker for like a chunky knit although I do feel like I've made a lot of orders since this order from Topshop and prefer everything and um, so let's hope that I like these when they go on. But this is very oversized, very lovely, just really easy to wear with jeans. So let's go for it. So I absolutely love it. Um, I got this in, I think I want to say I got this in a size extra small or small, whichever the smallest size was. It's very big, but it's designed to be oversized. And I am a sucker for an oversized knit. It's chunky, it is quite itchy. That's what I would say. It's one of those itchy knits. Um, so you could obviously wear it open like this with jeans, or you could just pop it inside and roll it in. I do love chunky jumpers because I feel like you've got more kind of creative creativity with them let's call it so look with this one because it is bigger I love bigger jumpers you can roll it off the shoulder you could roll it off this shoulder you can tuck it in I just like that this skirt is actually from a different brand but again I'll link it below because this is like the hero skirt in my wardrobe at the moment I think I need to film like a current wardrobe staples because there's so much stuff that I'm loving at the moment but yeah back to the jumper and um, I really like it. I think the color is gorgeous it's a bit more like oatmeal-y I just think it's really comfy and um, I'll just spin around so you can see it Nice and oversized with a really cool shape and a fit, just really easy to wear. I'd probably wear it off the shoulder and just slouch with it like that. So yeah, I, don't, I can't really fold this jumper. Really easy and it was super affordable. And another knit. Oh my goodness, I love it. If you want to look like a fuzzy bear, buy this. Misguided I actually do one really similar in pink and it is on my wish list. I'm going to put a picture here so you guys can see it and I'll leave a link below. I might look like an ostrich in it or I might just look absolutely fashion darling, so we'll see. What's that coming over the hill? Is it an ostrich? Yes, I honestly feel like an ostrich. The weird thing is, I feel really comfortable and really warm, almost too warm. I feel like I'm going to pass out because I'm so warm in this. You wouldn't think so because the underneath is very thin, but it's very warm. Um, I do feel like this is something that makes me look very, very, very frumpy. You've got like my actual body here, and then I'm just like a big pile of frump. But it's super cosy. I mean, I don't know. You guys might like it. Let me know what you think. I'm more obsessed with my new shoes, if I'm going to be completely honest. I know this isn't anything to do with Topshop, but... Um, my new shoes are way nicer. But yeah, I feel like if you were gonna wear this, you have to wear it with something completely neutral as I am doing here with my jeans. Um, but I don't know, you guys might really like it. Maybe the misguided one I told you about is gonna be equally as horrible in real life. I don't know. Do you guys think it's absolutely hideous and offensive or not? I don't know. I can't make my mind up. There's not really that much to say about it, apart from it's very comfy and very warm. So if you're going to Antarctica or the North Pole, you'll be totally fine. I do think it's so cute, I just don't think it suits my body type. No offence intended guys, and no offence taken if these things actually look horrific on. I think that's the thing about ordering stuff online and getting to try it on. It could look really bad, or it could look really good. So I guess that's the whole point of a try and haul. So yeah, you guys just leave your honest feedback, be like, Em, that looks horrific. I'll be like, yeah, actually, keep that girl, I like it. What is this? Oh my god, this is a skirt. I told you I forgot what I ordered. So, £25.95. Um, I think this was probably like £12 in a sale. How cute is this? I mean, I don't really know why there's random fur at the top. It acts like a nice little belt. So let's try it on. I am a sucker for skirts. So, I actually really, really like this. The only issue with it is that you can't see the black band because obviously I'm wearing a black top with it. And then, because it is quite tight, if you tuck anything under it, it does kind of sit here. So this is it with absolutely nothing underneath it. Um, and then the minute you like put a top under it, you kind of get quite a lot of 
don't know what the word is, it just makes it look not as good. Um, you could obviously like put it over, but I do quite like the waistband. So I think it would be better with like a tighter top so that it like completely sits really neatly under there, but that's just me being bothered about things looking neat. So I actually really like it, I think it's really cute. It does need a bit of, a bit of an iron. Very, very short, so I mean if you are taller you'd probably need to size up. I don't know if that would adjust the length, but it is very short. Um, wearing it with my cute little boots, which I love, which I'll link these below because they do them in every single colour and they're gonna be like my favourite thing for spring. I do think you could potentially wear this with a white top for spring and then you'd get a nice little black waistband so that could look really cute but I really like this skirt and it was so cheap I think it was like £12 so I'll try to get the exact link to it below and if not I'll link something really similar but I really like it but then again if you watch my Topshop haul you'll know I am an actual sucker for cute skirts in winter a lot of people ask me this you can wear them with skin coloured tights and then you don't get cold the amount of people who comment on my Instagrams and they're like are you not cold no, because I have skin coloured tights on and they act like they just keep me really warm. Last but not least in my Zara haul is this. So this was £17.99 full price. I mean, I don't actually know why I ordered this. This is just basically like a thin top, but wow, it is not very nice in real life. So yeah, this is one of those things where if I hold it up to you and talk to you, you'll be like, ew. So let's just try it on and see how I feel when it's on. So this one... It needs ironing, I completely know that. Sorry guys, um, I did just take it straight out of the box and throw it on. I think even with it being ironing though, it wouldn't really look, with it being ironed, it really wouldn't look that much better. It really is, just what it says on the tin, um, a plain kind of top. And I think that's probably why I ordered it. I was probably just sat drunk with some mulled wine and too much cheese over Christmas and thought, let's get a really plain, boring top. But, no offence to the plain top because I actually live in plain tops, I do think they're really easy to wear with like jeans and skirts and stuff, I'm being a bit overly critical. And um, I do think the shape of it's really nice, it is different to your kind of ordinary top, I think the side of it's quite cute, but it's not really something that you'd be able to tuck in, I am a tucker and a kind of girl. That's not even a word, I just made that up, that's what happens on this channel. Um, but yeah, it is more of like a something that you'd wear open, maybe with jeans. I wouldn't say it's very me, again, I think the Zara website tricked me, or my eyes tricked me. Um, I do think the size really cute, again, it's really nice for spring actually, because it's just super lightweight, really easy to wear, and I do love the colour, I'm obsessed with grey, just think it's really flattering, and it's just a really, I don't know, this is really comfortable, non-offensive, I mean, that's about it, what more can you say about a plain top? So there we go guys, I hope you liked this video, I hope you liked the kind of different format so you actually see me talking about the clothes when I'm wearing it, and um, as always just click show more below this video and everything will be linked, I always link similar items, you know more affordable ones or more expensive ones if stuff's out of stock or whatever, um, come say hi on Instagram and Twitter at mshellx, I would love to speak to you guys, the DMs and the private messages that I get literally make my day every day, so thank you so much if you ever reach out to me, leave a comment, let me know what you want to see next, and thank you guys. Bye.